So today it's all about collecting some colorful bees that give us lots and lots of honey. And so far these bees look pretty good, giving us a total rate of 358 honey per hour. But we still have 10 slots left and we can also give these bees a lot of experience so we can upgrade our rate of production. And we can just also collect all the bees together on a spot like this. But I have no idea who's getting what. So let's go ahead and check on Froggy Boy here. He's almost leveled up to level five and we can level him up even more. He gives a good amount of honey, 72 per hour right now. But we can still give him a whole lot more flower power here. If he can stay still, why are you chasing all the time? Well, there's him, but there's also this marshmallow bee here that can level up even more so because he's so low level. He's also giving more honey than the froggy bee is. Mm -hmm. So we can get your rate all the way up to... 100 honey per hour but right now these other bees do not give us a whole lot of production on their own this one's only eight and then this one is 18 and it would take way too long to get their production up to the same level as like the marshmallow here even the frog bee doesn't do that much so let's go ahead and use the honey that we do have to fill up the rest of these slots that we have in the hive because there's 10 more here hoping for a good bee here and there like a rare one is fine gain a lot of commons though why don't we just sell some of you because you're not worth as much okay we have room for one more pack and we get an uncommon bee in there that's a little better but it doesn't do a whole lot for us at least they grow up super fast which really amplifies our production there and they get levels super quick as well but it's not nearly enough so now we'll do what we did before and travel through time let's go forward a week to begin with and that gave us 10,000 honey which means we have enough to buy the beach hive so now that we have the beach hive, we can go over to it. Oh, look at that. It's all like a beach. And there's Patrick. And the beach hive comes with its own beach pack, which costs 1,200 honey a piece. Gross. But we should see some fun ones in here, ones that we've never seen before. So, ooh, that one looks like a fish. Let's see. You look like a normal bee. Oh, you leveled up really fast. You're a goldfish bee. Wow. And then you should be something fun. Level you up in one click or so. Yeah. An awkward shark bee. Oh, poor guy. What are you so awkward for? You're a shark. And then the last one here, it's a fish bee. Just a normal fish bee. We have enough money or honey for two more packs. Ooh, I see a rare one in there. Oh, that one looks like fun. And then that one is, it's straight up a circle. Why is that a circle? And then we'll just buy one more right away. Some more uncommons. They're all uncommons. And this one is straight up see-through. You're a bubble? You are straight up a bubble. Wow. And then a few more of you. A sand bee. Oh, <laughs> it has a shovel impaled in its back. Oh, you poor thing. But wow, look at this one. Got a tiki mask on or something. That is crazy. Oh. But I leveled up to Surfer Bee. That is some luscious hair there. And then Tiki Bee. That is an impressive mask. And then there's two more babies here. They're the Sand Bees. So we have nine bees total right now. And it's giving us 282 per hour. That's already like half of the Plains Hive, which is full. That is crazy. How much is the Bubble Hive or Bubble Bee give me? 73, just at level two. That is nuts. Let's get you leveled up to 100 honey per hour. And then maybe some of these other ones are worth leveling up there. Why don't we just do what we did before and conglomerate them all together? Because I also don't have enough honey for another pack. The good news is every time I level up one of the bees, then I get a little extra honey as a bonus. But we once again have the problem of I have no idea who's leveling up anymore. Why don't we just wiggle the flower power a little bit? So they can spread out a little more. I mean, they're getting 1700 XP from all of these. So they shouldn't be worrying themselves too badly. And however many levels across all the bees later, we have 370 per hour from the hive. Very good. So far, I still think the awkward shark is my favorite. Look at that little face. That's the kind of face you put on a sticky note. It also takes almost 4 million to level him up at level seven. That is ridiculous. At least we can get there in good time though. Doesn't really offer a whole lot in terms of upgrading the harvesting rate but also there's this button here does that transfer him to a different hive oh it does interesting so if we were to come back here and say sell one of the mushroom bees because they're super weak oh this one's actually the original one cool we can sell you instead and then back at the beach hive we can take 
the bubble bee who earns the most and then transfer you over to the plains hive, which adds to that production rate while also taking away from this one. Interesting, but look at that bubble bee flying around. It's got a similar face as the marshmallow bee, but both of these production rates should be helping each other, right? Not like separated. So if I were to advance time by say a month and then bring them back, we have 376,000 honey. Beautiful. And our bubble bee is still here. Didn't level up too much though. Let's bring you back to the beach hive where all your friends are. And then we can also sell whoever the weakest sand bee is, which is these two. So we can keep the unique bees together. And now we have a lot more money to buy a lot more beach packs for even more new and undiscovered bees. Oh, and the sand bee's back. I feel like if we're going to be seeing a lot of those. What I would like to see, though, is <laughs> another awkward shark bee. But no, what I really want is another rare. There we go. That's that's a box. At least all the fish in this pack are new. Oh, look at you. I bet you're like an ice cube. You are straight up an ice bee. Oh, but he's melting. Oh, no. And now you lot. Oh, clownfish bee. Well, that's fun. And then there's also the two bees over here. A lifeguard bee with a life preserver as a necklace. Weird fashion statement. Oh, and there's also... What are you, a coconut bee? That is a face that haunts nightmares right there. So the ice bee, we get you leveled up quite a bit, and you're giving more money already than the bubble bee, while also upgrading for less. I like the looks of that. So what we can do is get these bees leveled up to giving a good amount of honey per hour, hoping I can get you to 150 an hour. Just takes 4.8 million XP to get there. And they are 158 per hour. Ooh, we can also upgrade the amount of honey and food that they get and give. But that would take most of our honey that we have stored up. And we can go ahead and buy this. That'll be worth it in the long run. And the honey upgrade a few times. So now when they get experience, they get... It's hard to tell. He leveled up right away. And stop leveling up right away. I'm trying to see how much XP you're getting. Did I say 129,000? Oh my gosh, it did. Wow. How did that affect production too? So the beach hive is already giving 724 per hour well over shooting the planes hive that's really good and we still have more money to buy more beach packs scene use same one okay there's a new one one more can we get a legendary Ooh, another rare okay i'll take that even though yeah. <laughs> you got a little grabby hand sticking out of the front there you're a crab aren't you yeah, crabby. I wonder how his temperament is. Is it crabby? There's a starfish bee right here. Both of you are new. There isn't a whole lot of new bees this time, but that's okay. We'll just buy some more beach packs. We have the room until we get something new and undiscovered like this one, which is what are you? Your face has a hole in it. What the? <laughs> a clam bee. And it's got a pearl in its mouth. That is one of the weirdest things I've seen. I'm not gonna lie. Let's just get you leveled up. No rare bees this time, so we don't have any like big earners but we can level up a whole lot of bees at once which gives us good bonuses for the honey that we have and the clam bees just kind of doing their own thing do you, do you understand what's going on here we have a feeding frenzy going on in the middle that's it that's it just draw in and got him however we do have a lot of duplicates so we can sell some of these bees let's see who's the best clownfish right now you're looking pretty good and then some of these other ones okay you're weaker you're level five that's weaker level seven is the best and then we have a few awkward shark bees Ooh, but this level eight one is the strongest. So we can get rid of all those duplicates as well as the fish bees as well because they don't give a whole lot. Wow, that one's level nine. Let's get you to level 10. There we go. And then we just sell your twin and then you get sold. A lot of tiki bees. Bring up some room so we can buy some more packs because none of these lower bees really are big earners. So we don't have to worry about keeping them as much, especially when there's more big earners waiting in these packs. Ooh, and some new ones. I like discovering new bees. Oh, and there's another rare. Please be something new. Oh, it's a bubble bee. Maybe I should check if I have all the rare bees in this pack. Okay, we're missing a few of the common ones. It looks like we have all the uncommon ones. There's one rare that's missing, and then we haven't seen any legendaries yet. Oh, but look at that. This one's got a little pirate hat. Oh, that's adorable. He's got a little sword, too. And was that the only new bee that there was? It must have been. At least we have two bubble bees now, which are the huge earners. I should be able to get you to 150 honey per hour. Oh, but that actually takes a lot of experience to get you past level eight. Never mind. I can level up your twin to that level, which is going to work a lot better and be a lot easier. Now we just buy some more bees and then, uh, ooh, there's a legendary. Yes. Ooh, and another common. Is this the last common? I'm not sure. Where's that legendary? 
You are... Where are you? Where are you? Right there. Oh, no way. That's a little axolotl. That's so adorable. And then there was one more uncommon bee. Oh, there you are. Or you're a common bee. A, co a cocktail bee. Uh-huh. I don't think we need any more of you. So how much does the axolotl give us? 234 at level 4? Oh, that's amazing. I bet I can get you to 500 per hour. I hope anyway. You're still fairly cheap to level up, and now you're starting to get kind of expensive. At least you're leveling up at a good rate, though. At level 7, and now level 8, giving us 338 per hour. That's a pretty good amount, I'd say. Because that puts the hive over a thousand honey per hour. Wow. Oh, that is awesome. I think what I want to do now is buy a forest hive and then at the end of it, we'll put all the big earner bees in here and see how much they alone give us because I bet it's quite a lot. Well, let's get another beach pack. Maybe there's another legendary for us. Sure enough, there isn't. Oh, there's another rare bee. I think this is the last rare bee that we need. But, you know, I won't say no to the rare bees that we have already because they earn us a lot of honey. But where did that new one go? Is it you? It looks like you. You're like a scuba diver. A diver bee. Why do you have an air tank above land? You're not even in the water, silly. That's okay. You're giving us a lot of honey. Whoop, where'd you go? So with one more level, I should be able to get you close to 200 honey an hour. And you give us, yes, 201. Aha. And then where's the new crab bee? I need to get you leveled up. Oh, I guess they're both kind of unleveled. At least they're not as far as I would like them to be. And I have no idea where you're going now. The flowers are over here. I have a straight up helix of flower power going down and you're just dodging all of it. There you go. You're also missing a whole bunch. How are you missing so much? Do you know how to be? Or you just spend too much time being a crab and raving? Okay, now we got you to 150 per hour. And then we'll just let the rest of the bees have at the flowers. Because they know what to do with it. And some of them do level up as well, but I'm not sure which ones. Well, now we can get to the other crab bee to get you over to 150. And then we buy a few more packs. Hoping for another rare here at least. But now we're out of room. So we just sell all of those. Ooh, a bubble bee. I'll hold on to you. And now's the point where we're getting so many bees that we already have. But wow, this bee is already at level 7. And he like just matured to an adult. That is amazing. Ooh, another ice, ice bee. This one gives more nice. than the bubble bee. And there's another rare. It's a crab. Even more. And this is the wrong crab bee. Where's the dare you are? And we get the ice bee leveled up. Does this one actually give more than the crab bee? I think it does. Let's see. At level 7, you give 158. And then at level 8, this one gives 156. So the ice bee does give more. So let's get you to level 8. So you're giving 170. And then you as well. And now we're at the point where we're getting a lot more duplicates than new things. So we're in the repetitive cycle of buying bees and then selling bees. But we're still keeping all the high earners though. And that puts our rate at 2.4 thousand honey per hour. Beautiful. So the only bees that we're missing are the two legendaries here. And I feel like we're gonna need to buy a lot of packs to see those. If the last video was anything to go by. But at least we're getting a lot more of the rare ones. And we currently have four crab bees with us. Oh, that's wonderful. Although the more high roller bees that I keep, the less room that I have to buy new bees. So it might be time to start transferring some of these bees to the other hive. But we'll worry about that later. I'm getting more ice bees. Oh, I see that shade of pink. That's a legendary. And it's one that we haven't seen before. Yes, that is definitely a popsicle. I don't know what else it could be. Oh, ice cream. I see. But this one, I think, gives more than the axolotl bee. Except it doesn't scale the best. It's at level 7, and it's only giving, like, 60 more honey per hour than level 6 did. We can give you one more level, though, to get you over 400. There we go. That's a lot of experience you need to level up. Oh, and we got another ice cream bee right away. Wow. And another ice bee. Oh my gosh, the game loves me today. Except you, go away. I wonder if this puts our total production close to 5,000 an hour. So if we look, then we have a total production somewhere like 4.4 thousand an hour. That's pretty good, I'd say. But now we're out of room to buy more bees. So let's start transferring some of these duplicates to the other hive. But now we have room for a lot more bee purchases, which we're gonna need because we're getting a lot of duplicates. Even, I bet this legendary is a duplicate. <gasps> what? We got the last legendary bee? Well, that was quick. What even are you? Where are you? Get rid of the starfish bees. I don't need you. And you, and you, and all of you. Okay, you are where? You, what the, what is this? What are you, a submarine? It, 
<laughs> it actually is a submarine bee. Look at that. It's got a little propeller on it. Oh, that is amazing. There's a joke to be made here, but we're not going to worry about it. If you know, you know. But look at how much honey it's giving us. 552 an hour? And we can feasibly get it up to level 8 in a good amount of time. As long as it can, you know, stay still. There, at level 8, it gives 598 honey per hour. That is amazing. And sure enough, that's all the bees in the beach pack. Wow! I didn't think we were gonna get there that soon. So now we have a lot of production in a lot of different places. So currently our hives are producing 4.97 thousand honey per hour. That's not bad. But since we have room in our beach hive, we can get a few more packs, hopefully get some legendaries and then boost that number even more. I wanna see 5,000 being made. A bubble bee, I don't know if that's gonna get us there. Which I mean, it probably will, but I want some bigger earners here. So sorry, bubble bee, you're going bubble bye. I need some more, ooh, some more ice bee. And with this little guy, our total production should be over 5,000 honey per hour, which is pretty good, I'd say. Okay, so now we'll take the rest of these big earners and put them in the forest hive, which is the new one. Collect them all, the axolotl goes in there too. Should we put the ice bees in there? Sure, why not? They're moving on to better things. And the bubble bee can go there too. And then we'll come back to the plains hive and get these legendary earners, which are frankly not nearly the level that the beach ones are, but we'll add them to the mix so they feel included. I didn't realize there were two rainbow bees either. Go away. Or two worm bees. Not sure how that happened. Goodbye. Oh. And then the frog bee goes in there as well. There should have been one more legendary bee. There it is, the log bee. You go in there too. So now our forest hive, which has all the expensive bees in terms of how much honey they make, and that alone gives 3.9 thousand honey per hour that's really good and the best part is i can buy beach packs and put them right into this hive we're really expanding the honey empire i've growing here it would grow even faster if i could get some high roller bees though not more of these commons and uncommons this is not a nursery this is a factory get these babies out of here and we are slowly whittling down on the total honey that we do have to buy bees with. So let's just get all of the good quality bees that we can while getting rid of all the weak ones. Oh, and the legendary submarine bee is back. Yes, beautiful. And the ice cream bee. That's two legendaries in one pack. Wow, that's some good gains there. And look at this, we got another diver bee. That's fun. Oh, wrong hive? So they don't like being in this hive, huh? Interesting. Actually, they're, they're kind of all like that. Does that affect their production? I think it might. They're losing the harvest bonus. Oh, that's interesting. So I guess these guys just really don't want to be here, huh? Well, I only have 8,000 honey and it costs 14,000 to get a new one. But you know, even with their bonus not being as strong, they're still getting 5,000 honey per hour, which I'd say is pretty good. Actually, these ice bees sell for a lot. So here's what we'll do instead. We'll sell all the duplicates. And that gives us enough to buy another beach hive. That way we can transfer all those bees to this one so they can get the bonus back. Just so we can keep the really good earning bees in their own little place because I wanna see how much they do. And that also means that we're moving effectively all the bees over here because the forest bees really aren't doing it. Well, at least we can see all the three legendary forest bees all on their own. And now if we move over to the new beach hive, which is this one? Yeah, it's this one. Now they're happy, so they get their bonus back. And we can buy a few more beach packs here. Oh, there's another, oh, it was a rare. I thought it was a legendary. Oh, and we just collected enough money for another beach pack, the last one, because we now only have 3.16 honey. I'm not sure when the next collection of honey is going to tick, but I feel like we're not gonna earn enough to buy another pack. Although, if we grow up these bees, then we can sell them for a fair amount. Now we can buy the packs, which doesn't seem to be worth it because these bees are worthless to me. So I'm just gonna raise them up so I can sell them again. And we're somehow making a profit off of this. We have 5,000 in our pocket now, but we also haven't really earned any rare or legendary bees in a little bit. So I think I'm gonna call it there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of Ooh, Time is yeah. Honey. And there's another axolotl. Perfect. Finally, a bee that I can keep. 
And there isn't really too much more for this demo. There are some golden variants of these bees, but I feel like those are even more stupid rare than the legendaries. Or there's another way to unlock those. So if you guys have ideas about to do that, then be sure to let me know. Thank you for watching and sub to intern. And thanks to channel members, including Brad, Mr. Corporal One, Ancient Elixir One, Kirby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Devion X, Muffet Supper, Lucas S, Flyer Sax, a real nickname, Edward, Hippo Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupalongs, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bites, Minor Thin, Levi Fox, Degarity, and Sands.